Learn about wine, fast lesson 4, the main red grapes and wines. In this video you will learn the main red grape varieties and main red wines. Chapter 4, the four main black grapes. Remember from previous chapters that the juice pressed out of all grapes, white or black, is clear like water. From the black grapes the winemaker is able to make white, rose or red wine. The color of the wine will depend on the length of time the skins have spent together with the grape juice after pressing. If you remove the skin straight away you will have white wine, you find that in the popular Blanc de Noirs, white from blacks, champagne, where they used Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier black grapes and that gives an earthy taste to the wine. Rose wines are made when black grapes are pressed and the skins are left in the juice for a few hours and then removed. The pink color will have different shades depending on the ripeness of the grapes and length of soaking. Red wines are obtained by leaving the black skins in the fermenting grape juice for a week, two or even longer. The color of the red wine will depend again on the ripeness and type of grapes and length of soaking. The original color of the wine will change with time for all wines, older white wines turn amber, and so do roses, red wines go through shades of inky blue, purple, ruby red, amber and brown. Using dark glass bottles slows down the color transformation. The four main red or black grapes for wines are 1. Shiraz 2. Zinfandel 3. Cabernet Sauvignon 4. Pinot Noir. The Shiraz or Syrah grape makes powerful full-bodied wines of strong alcohol content. Typical flavors in the wine are blueberry and plum, it's usually spicy like black pepper and sometimes shows scents of violets. The Zinfandel grape, also known as Primitivo in Italy, has its own place on this list as it stands strong with its own typical style and flavors, raspberry and sour cherry, Asian spice and sweet tobacco. These wines are medium to full-bodied with intense flavors and they usually have a long aftertaste. The Cabernet grape is one of the winemaker's favorite as it makes a good base for many wine blends. It makes full-bodied red wines with an earthy character and shows flavors of black cherry, blackcurrant and various spices. The wine is rich like jam if the grapes are grown in hot climate and more spicy in cooler climate. The Pinot Noir grape makes wines that feel lighter and juicy due to higher acidity. I once agreed with someone that a particular Pinot Noir tasted like Coca-Cola. Typical flavors include cherry, cranberry and rose petals, sometimes green vegetables or a mushroom note. But what about Merlot? Or Sangiovese, Tempranillo, Pinotage or Malbec, you might ask. There are hundreds of red grapes and thousands of wine blends that make extraordinary red wines. I am sharing with you here the secret of every wine expert, the four grapes and styles mentioned in this video is the map to use to appreciate red wines. The Merlot grape makes wonderful wines on its own, some of the best wines in the world are made with the Cabernet Merlot blend. But you see, Merlot is, for the flavors and style, just a softer Cabernet Sauvignon, it shows the same black fruit flavors and smells, with less tannins because of thinner skins, it adds less harsh flavors to the wine. The Sangiovese grape makes outstanding wines, the safest choice for food with tomato sauce, acidic, and, on close analysis, one could say that Sangiovese has the body of the Cabernet Sauvignon and the red fruit of Zinfandel. I hope you get the idea. I recommend you refer to these four red grapes as you start appreciating red wines, and I suggest you taste and make tasting notes of certain wines listed in the description of this video. I created a shopping list in the description, go and check it out. Try to get the wines exactly within the parameters given, the country of origin and the alcohol level are the perfect range where the grapes show their flavors and character. The names on the labels are not important. When you choose these wines don't fall in the marketing trap, ignore the discount offers. If you find the correct wine on with a discount too, then that's a lucky bonus. At the end of this chapter I want to ask you something. Are you able now to notice if you prefer better the red fruit flavors of Pinot Noir or the spices or Shiraz? If you prefer Shiraz to Malbec, are you now able to notice that this is because Shiraz has more spice? If you prefer Merlot to Cabernet Sauvignon, is it because Merlot is softer? I hope you have learned something new from this video. In the next chapter we will learn how to describe a wine. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to learn more about wine. Thanks for watching. Watch our next videos.